Hi everyone! <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this is the first video of the year. Thank you very much. <laughs> welcome and I am going to be filming some series or a series called Let's Be Frank. <laughs> so in today's episode we are going to be discussing about you know dating life in the UK as an immigrant and the Shege that wise are seen or have seen. seen because we're trying to be with some of this one. Don't do us like this. Eh? Well, we want to take care of you. Mm? Just calm down, let somebody love you, alright? Hold on, hold on. Hey, saying you don't know nothing, but I'm gonna tell you something. And I'm saying. So we're going to be talking about dating in the UK. So I have a guest here. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi guys. <laughs> she's not she's not a visitor. Hi guys, I am that first chick. I'm also a co-creator. A co-creator. <laughs> a co-conspirator. <laughs> Anyways, so in today's episode, well, first of all, welcome to my channel. This is the first time yeah. you are or no, you are filming with me. Yeah. You I've recorded videos with you, <laughs> but I never <laughs> uploaded them. Yeah, I mean, I uploaded it, so catch your shit. <sighs> the funny thing is, I don't even edit my videos, so I, I have an excuse. God, God is joking. But yeah, so let's be frank. Dating in the United Kingdom, can you describe your dating experience in the UK with one word? Ultimate search. I said ultimate search. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot take one word. It's two words together. Uh, my own is yeah, one word. It's not even one word. The sentence. Because no, no, no. It's two words. Bass, bass. <laughs> <laughs> you give me bass, I give you bass. We no grief. We no grief for anybody. Ah, <laughs> Next question. Hinge or bumble? I think bumble. I'm not really conversant with his like you that. Bumble. Did they, yeah, did they, I try? Did they, I try to like register on hinge? Hinge. It didn't look. It didn't look like a direct thing. So in my mind, I'm like, why are you taking me through all this process? Everyone else dating. prefers hinge. You are the first person I'm hearing that likes bumble. I'm sorry, I would rather see that stuff. I know, Tinder is for those on the street. What? But there are still some good people there. Tinder is for woke up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm late. Like, I'm late to that party. If you need a quick fix, Tinder it is. I love Tinder a lot. Sure. <laughs> I, oh, I used to, but now it's either Hinge or Bumble. For Bumble, I feel you. there's no way you can streamline your race, race. like the people yeah. you want to be seen. So you'll be seeing people from all the walks of life. And you see all those things that they will tell you that you should come and be paying. Why will I be paying to be seeing people? Excuse me. Give me reason to see, to see people who like to see people you. who likes me. If, people that you probably not even match with. If you are serious you know, swiping, enough, swiping, swiping, swiping. Ah, no, I cannot spend my money. If you are fine enough, I'll like you back. How about that? I cannot spend my money on such. I've I've spent my money before. Ah, I've no. paid before. I rather pay. I was to very doing. curious to know who liked me, so I paid. All those secret admirers. Yeah, I paid. <laughs> I paid, and I looked through all of them. Like, okay, so this what is are this. Is this it? And I, I never paid again. Mm. And then I went to Hinge. Hinge, you can streamline the people you want to see, especially with the race. You just want to see black men. But you know that there are plenty dating, dating sites. Don't tell, don't tell them that I told you. There is one that they call Seeking. Seeking. I'm not Seeking. Hey. If you are looking for sugar, that is sugar. Oh, that's the challenge. That's the <laughs> Seeking. Seeking.com. That's my viral. <laughs> <laughs> he said I'm seeking. Oh, those oh. they usually eat the fine by row. Where the pen? I'm serious. I heard that those ones they usually don't have like apps. Oh or maybe they're not accessible in like the UK, mm. so you have to like put it on your web. There's even one Christa Christa Mingo. Mingo, yes. I heard that one is calm. Uh, yeah, and then there's like widowers, widow ah. people. You know, if you're looking know. for like older people, people that you see, if you're ready to settle down, you're the one that will do your research. You, me, there's no dating app I've not explored in this life. <laughs> at the Christian Mingo, at the Sikino, at the divorced widows. So they also now almost join um, lesbian dating app. Love is love, right? 
Stop my mommy and daddy are not watching this. <laughs> Third question. What do you think most Nigerians look out for in a partner here in the UK? UK. Yeah, what do you think they look out this for? This morning! Are you yeah, sure? I'm sorry, yeah. Are you sure? With this our care shift that we're doing. <sighs> Which money? No, like, Nigerian... I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm talking about some. Disclaimer. Most women would want a man that has yeah. money, right? Yeah. But in this UK... What's wrong with the woman having money too? Eh, eh, both of us have money, but my money is my money. Your money is our money. Oh. <laughs> Emphasis on that. So, oh. But in the UK, I don't know... Are you sure they don't look out for British passport? Yeah, I'm sorry, that skips my mind. Yes. It's, no, I think it's the Nigerian passport. Nigerian men. I think they look out for the passport before money. They look out for, yeah, they could do that. But it's only if the Nigerian man is like a citizen already or is fixed here. Because my experience of dating here, mm -hmm. I say, you know, talking to a guy or me listening to a girl describing a guy, what they look out for, first of all, is your status in the country. In the country. So the ones you know, if you just came, are you a student? Are you working? Are you a citizen? That's like one of the mm -hmm. first and foremost even if you're working you want to know the work you're doing. doing so that brings about some kind of nonsense unrealistic discrimination that irritates me i can't get students <laughs> and she students she like she them to not graduate me i don't so understand are they not even working forget that they're even paying like school fees and all of that stuff they are so still that thing that anymore. thing irritates me so um i think that thing they do about you know looking at your status in the country just very very sick so i think that answers the question about what most nigerians look out for in your partner mm. the next question is your cultural shock dating in the uk ah, i need to sit up for this one because it pepper me now when you go on dates both of you are paying your money. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? See, Nigerian like, women, we like to be taken care of. We like our men spending on us. Don't spend coins on me. Why are you covering your face? In this place, the first date I went on. So you cannot split bills? I can. But it's the first date, man, pay. I'm sorry, I can't split bills with you. <laughs> you can't <move> better. <laughs> You know that there was one date I went for and I was like, if this man should tell me to speed the bill. I mean wash plates. Um, <laughs> I'm, as soon as I step out, That's I am blocking. Number. Not just the, blocking. The one the one that happened to me, I arrived in Manchester, right? So it was even hmm, you see, I don't agree with you and saying that it's as if that guy wanted to do sorry, sorry mm -hmm. I met him up at the mall in Manchester and you cannot even suggest any other place. You are telling me a girl that is coming from a hot city like Lagos. Let's meet over coffee. Coffee for what? I like coffee dates. What do you want to be doing? Drinking tea and eating biscuits? You don't like you coffee. You are from that. Nigeria, man. I, I drink coffee in my house. I drink coffee in my house too. What will you carry me outside and tell you that you want to buy but, coffee? And but biscuits? the weather was cold now. Even if. When, we, when I gave her home, is it not all chocolate that will still go back Yeah, that's home? true. We now got to the coffee place, so they now brought the coffee. That's how they brought, you know, they will come with their black book and check now. Oh, okay, yeah. Boy, I put the man have signal to the waiter that two ways. <laughs> that's how they Did he know you just came? Even I just came, he knew that I just arrived at Manchester. He told you he did like this to the waiter. So that means two different checks. As I did, the way that came, ma, this is your view, ma, that's your view. I said, okay. And God, God being God that day, I just finished paying like school fees. <laughs> so you can imagine when you don't have money, the only money you account for is <laughs> money. And I went. I paid. Oh my God. I'm just wondering. Wait, wait. I'm just wondering. That money wasn't up to 10 pounds, was it? I think it was like seven. It was just coffee. So it, it could, it could whoever you are out there, you could not pay for a first date. Somebody just co coming from Nigeria. Where is your coffee. Where is your consideration? I don't know. Somebody See, coming in as a student. Let's even 
Sorry. We are splitting yes. bills. Let's you see, some together. men are single. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. I don't blame some single men, I honestly. Die, and you not be single, you will be thinking, no, oh, they've been really good to girls. They've yeah. been doing. That's not most of the case. And the other thing, the, I think another thing that pisses me off is the fact that we know how things work in Nigeria. Yes. Do not come and say, oh, because we are now in the UK, we're in the Western world, you now want to capitalize on the fact that, okay, yeah, any do pounds this, are any you pounds. get, like, don't do that, don't do that. In Nigeria now, if I wanted to buy something for my guy, I would go all out and beyond. But I know that things here are very expensive. Right now, I cannot go all out and beyond. And he has to understand <laughs> And you wish to. And I wish to, but I cannot. When I'm still paying school fees. Sorry. It cannot work like that. Sorry, dear. Ah, what's your cultural shock? My cultural shock was that um, they like to kiss on the first date, and I'm like, which mouth? I mean, they are mad. All those, they are mad. Please, carry right your smelly right mouth. Right yes. You're still observing. Remove so your smelly cool. mouth away from my face, dear. Ah, first date. What are you going to do, man? Oh, oh, funny. Oh, funny. What? Hello. Oh, funny. Uh-uh. What's this? Okay, wait. Let me not take it. was a wise guy. <laughs> well, we can give him a... No, no. This can give him. Please move your friend. No, you know the way... Well, they don't need to brush their dress. Yes, nah, they know they brought, they know they bath. I can't be with I'm sorry. I, they are human beings, right? I'm not racist to anything. It's okay. But they can't, I can't be with a white person. They know they bath during this winter now, my dear. I have no deal. <laughs> during winter now, they can only probably be maybe three times in the week. They don't, they don't use sponge. No, they don't. They don't. It's too wet. No, 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 they use foam. Some it's of them use foam. foam. Uh, do you know the sponge we use in Nigeria? Ah, concrete. <laughs> from scrub all your iniquities. <laughs> you not see them with clothes. Scrub all your. Skin. And they not call you wash clothes. Wash clothes. Ah, <laughs> yeah. well, you go out with them. Ah, and ah, ah, you see. Ah, <laughs> in the bus. In the bus. In the bus. It's like so mad. You'll be wearing ah, jacket upon jacket and they start smelling like. Ah, you know how? You know how when you pull mop inside that water. <laughs> You don't have to squeeze the mop. I don't know. If she soon has to see this video. <laughs> you see, I'm already crying. I should meet you. I know, but they have to up their game. No, I Next question. I can't. Hey, next question. <laughs> Your worst date in the UK. Ah, that's the date, the coffee date. The coffee date. I mean. <laughs> Challenges with dating here. What 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 will you say is like the biggest challenge that not you but every other person complains about? That everybody is a gold digger. Yes, one, two. Everybody's looking for a quick Everybody's fix. going looking for a quick like you might not want to be a gold digger, but you are you are tailored in that direction because of how the gold digger are for what <laughs> what are you what are you necessarily for, digging for? You are digging for money, you are digging for the guy's attention too, because everybody they clock in shifts. You are looking for his time. And I think it's that that money in particular and green green book. Passport. Passport, yes. And if you were to be with like other other like maybe like other races, I feel it would be different, but Nigerian to Nigerian. Yeah, where well, we both know where we are coming from. Yeah. Even if you've been here half of your life, you still have an idea of how, how Nigeria, Nigeria is. is. So don't lie to yourself. You go for dirty December whenever you can. You have an idea of how Nigeria is. So for you to be here and then yeah, say Act you oblivious. Do, you want to do the Western ways. You Come want on. to start doing the Western ways. Come on. Or people that are doing birthday. Me, I want to do birthday. I'm not invited to restaurant. You're not. I'm not you to pay. I'm not telling you, tell you to pay for your food. Just if you want to do that, if you are watching me, just let me know. Let me stay at home. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh uh. Oh, makes sense. Nah. The one that's famous people that just came. I'm like, yeah. You have not reached two years yet. You're telling me I should want to pay for my own food in bed. I'll burn it. There's house in there's, I said there's house in my food. There's, <laughs> there's food, food in my house. There's food in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Do you, oh, do you think you end up with a white person? No. Why? 
I kind of like I love interracial relationships. I do. When I see them, I'm they envious so of them. Cute. They look so cute. And especially when I see like I'm a, like imagining you know how especially when like, you don't speak Yoruba. How do you, it's only English they'll be speaking. No, I think the, there are some jokes they can't relate to. They can't to. relate to they can't relate to things that have to do And there are like some things culture. that are offensive to them. No, no, there are some things that are offensive to we black people. That, that they, they will casually they do. see it as normal. And I think another thing is if I'm dating someone, I'm dating for like a future. So I the reason why I won't see a future with a white person is the cultural and moral differences is like this. If my child should do the wrong thing, man, I'm going to spank you. They will not want me to do that. So Spank, not beat. Spank, not Just beat. Spank. Yeah. So... Because they beat us. They get to beat... They beat, they they beat, beat us. us. So they wire... They wire. Wire, wire, wire cable. <laughs> so, like, the difference is a lot. Yeah. So... I know I can't. I can't they call it. They call it. I think they call it easy parenting. What do you call it now? Uh, gentle, mm -hmm. gentle, gentle parenting. Like, okay. <laughs> we are Nigerians. Gentle so we're parenting. The child is on the floor throwing a, a tantrum. Oh, like, you mean, the one that annoys me is those ones that you carry them to the mall. They will not come and be crying. No, you're not be telling them. Obey me. Yeah. Make sure you stop, stop. doing what you're doing. And I'm like. Stop. <laughs> are you slap the child in the mall? Slap, Baba. I'll carry it to tell them. I'll find you, laddie. When I, get, in fact, and you know one thing I like about Nigerian parents? They don't need to do much. You see the eye, eye. they will give you. The <laughs> your eye. sense is going to be correct. Yo, you follow your mother out. They want to give you gifts. Your mother will give you eye like this. You collect that gifts. You know that when you get to, you have to <laughs> You have to like this. Next question. What do you notice Nigerians are getting wrong in dating? And I mean, like, we present immigrants because now we full grand. I feel mm, in dating. Yeah, what are we getting wrong? Huh. But I like Okay. It. I think one thing we're getting wrong is marrying to get stay. That is a big trend. The, is it that when you're dating somebody in Nigeria, because you want to jack out, you quickly marry. And two of you will jab her together. I'm be suffering. You will not come here, you will not be suffering. Or oh, boy, you will not do arranging marriage. You don't yeah. not like the person. I'm going to shake the tables. Yeah, I'm going to shake. It does I need to make, cover my face. It does not make any sense. Because I know people that are Take the mic. Take. Yeah. <laughs> Let me for the establish that level. I know some people that they are here and they are very, very sad. They are married to somebody that they literally don't, don't know. They are married to somebody that they are not attracted to sexually or anything. And it's not making any sense. It's really not making any sense. If you want to come, come single. You will miss... See, all those things that they will say that there is no man in the UK. There are men who... Ah, hey, there are plenty men I, in the UK. Ah, there is one in the kitchen here. Yeah. There is one yeah. that is upstairs. <laughs> Men, are, men, cooking. They, men yeah. are cooking. It's a man that's cooking inside, yeah. cooking inside this kitchen. Yes, he's cooking proteins. Go, go. <laughs> go, go. Don't let it go out. It's not good. Air Force. Come, come, it's come. It's a housemate, though. Yeah. Hey. Oh, Air Force, come, come, come. Join the party. Just say hello. Just come and say hello. We want to like, come now. Nah. Don't be shy. We told them Nigerian men. We told them Nigerian men cook. They don't believe us. Come, come, we are not seeing you. Come. You are cooking. You are cook come this way. Come this way. Come this way. We single lawyers. We are looking for. <laughs> bend down, bend down. This is Gogo. He's a single man in the UK cooking. and he's cooking. Protein. <laughs> Protein. So, men that cook, these are men in culinary. Kuri, culinary. <laughs> culinary, yeah. You get what we mean. So, like, you people stop doing any out. There are men you, here. Yeah, diverting. What do they get wrong? You say from <laughs> them marrying for paper. It's the pain. It's the pain in my heart. I'm also pain. Oh, yeah, you, what do you think they get wrong? Okay. So, First of all, I like to emphasize on what she said, like people marrying for papers and then they they realize that five years can be quick and five years can be short mm -hmm. too. Some people see five years as five minutes, while some people see five years as 15 years. So it depends on your situation inside those five years. So make sure you are going into <clears throat> like the relationship or, right or the marriage for the right reasons, because trust me, your five years can be hell and it feels like... 50 years. And in this place is power. Is what? It's power. Everything is by the hour. It's by the hour. Five years, we don't so, go like that. 
so my dears make sure you I'm are for the right reason. falling in love with the right person and you're ending up with the right person for the right reasons yeah uh what do i think you guys are getting wrong i'm not part <laughs> of you people <laughs> I don't do any wrong thing. I'm perfect. Ah, okay. Are you perfect? Ah, in Jesus' name. You see? What I think people are getting wrong. The moment you hook up with somebody, or not hook up, but like you are getting to know somebody, somebody. your priority is not to know the person for who they are. You want to know what they are doing. And what they can offer you. And what they can offer you. Not the monetary values. Not just the monetary values. But they are meeting you and they are assessing you based yeah. on your situation now. Not thinking of, you know, getting to know you, your character, things that can't change. Most of the things they are looking at are things that... Are you going to be a student this time next year? Mm -hmm. So somebody meeting her and I'm like, this one's a student. It's a student. Uh, visa. Those things can change. But her character her personality, who she is, things that are permanent in her life. Or if they are going to change, it will take, you know, gazillion prayers to change. Yeah. We are not looking, you I know. Is the ones that are not superficial, be the ones that don't even matter at all. People are focusing on, please, do better. Or you'll be asking, where do you work? They say they are working in Kia, you yeah. leave them alone. I'm like, why are you job shaming? Why? To be doing care for like why why are you job shaming care is a job it is a very good job even cleaning in this place yeah, you pay you per hour you don't shame. You don't shame I, any job. I i find people who job shame very very disturbing and pro problematic because i'm like you do realize it's the same pound pound they are paying mm -hmm. all of us so why are you job shaming that's one thing i know people get wrong so I like to like leave it there. Next and final question is <clears throat> advice for single people. See, in church today, when we did Thanksgiving, they say if you are single, you are praying for marriage. They say, they say, yeah. I know there are some people they are praying for marriage before the end of twenty twenty four. Come on, see Thanksgiving, see race, see race. Every see, race. see all the single people that came. Me, me I not come out. Oh. Yeah, not come out. Me, the trouble will not go out. It was, it was crazy. If you see this, all of them, they ran to the I altar. See, I said, I told my they friend, ran. I see ring on your hand. They, the end of they the ran to the altar. And I said, you know what? As they are there in the altar, they should just pack all of them together and, I'm you know, and hook you. them up with each other. Eh? Wouldn't that be nice? So, yeah. Advice for single people in this country. Because I know many people came here single, hoping to find love. Obviously, there's love out there. But, you know, dating here is different from dating in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You can't cat call or see somebody on the road and be like, Oh, baby, fine I girl, like how you. are you? I like you. Yeah, go, 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 for you like this. Police will carry you. <laughs> it's called harassment. You can't see a girl on the road and say, Mm, baby, you look so sweet. It's harassment. Mm -hmm. Some can be called hate crime. It's prison. Yeah. It's prison you're going to. And I feel, I feel there are like other decent <coughs> ways to like approach women. And emphasis, if you come to this UK and you think that you are looking for man and you go to places like the club, you have lost it. You have lost it. Abmio, coming from a place of good intents, I will not advise you to scout in the club. Scout in your school. Scout in church. Scout in your place of work. You see those guys that go to the club, those men that club. <laughs> well, it's the same people that go to the school that go into the club. There are some categories of men in the club. Mm -hmm. We, if we are based in Middlesbrough, I mean, I'm laying emphasis on this Middlesbrough place. Yeah, These yeah. are men, this bolo, this bolo men, <laughs> this bolo men. They don't have the fear of God in them, so be very, very careful of them. And when you come here, don't just jump into any relationship because you are having. Um, you are having jitters. You are having Butterfly. weather, weather depression. You need somebody to warm yourself up. Hey, if you want, you warm your bed. If you go and do buru buru to the relationship, you buru buru yourself out of it. That's my two cents that I'm gonna give to you people. If you like use it, if you like lose it's your problem. Yeah, and I fight. Thank you very much for the advice, Mrs. Speaker. On that note, we are going to end this video and we hope that you find your loved ones, yeah. you find your soulmates, and please, if you're out there. You're Job shaming, shame on you. You need to do better. Yeah. Okay. 
um <clears throat> any last words if you're out there and this is to the guy that took me on my first date ever in the uk this idiot came to the <laughs> anyways i'll tell that story another day if you want to hear the story please Let's leave a comment <laughs> Let me know if it's worth it. Let me know if it's worth it or not. Okay. Leave a comment in the comment section. On that note, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you, Shio, for coming. Make sure you like, make sure you like and share this subscribe, video. Subscribe. Share this video. And leave your comments leave in the comment section. And you let us know the next kind video of video you, you want, want to see. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one.